Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to draw condensed structures for organic molecules. So a couple of things to begin with. Our condensed structures, we draw all the atoms, but we usually omit the bond line. So remember our bond represents two electrons that are being shared. We omit those lines. There's a couple of times, a couple of examples where we don't, I'll show you that. Um, and then we draw the molecule to match the shape of the molecule. This is something unique inside of organic chemistry is that we're trying to, by drawing the molecule, indicate the shape of that molecule. Now, down here, I wrote down the analysis, kind of the driving principles. We always go from left to right when we're writing our, our um, organic molecules. We omit the lone pairs off of the hetero atoms and we use parentheses for groups that are alike, trying to further simplify. So we're going to do six examples here. And from these six examples, I'm confident that you'll be able to write your own condensed structures for organic molecules. Okay, when we write everything out, so all the lone pairs, all of the bonds, that is called the complete structure. So I've written all the complete structures, and then we're going to write the condensed structures. Uh, so here we have what's called butane. Um, the condensed structure for this, notice there's my carbon with three hydrogens, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. I took off those bonds and I went from left to right. Now I do want to show you, when we're at the end right here, you typically have that CH3. Um, that's what I wrote here. And then I wanted to also illustrate, I just did this in brown, that carbon with the two hydrogens, that's what I wrote right here, okay? Um, <clears throat> now, to further simplify this, there are two groups right there that are identical. CH2, CH2 right next to each other. So another way that we could write this even more condensed would be CH3 parentheses, CH2 and parentheses, and then outside of it, I put a two to show that I've got two of those CH2 groups right next to each other. CH3. Let's do more. Let's do more and you'll become comfortable with this. Uh, so here's my molecule. Again, it's a butane. I've got four carbons, but notice on this second carbon, there's another carbon with three hydrogens. It's called a methyl group and you'll learn about those as you watch more videos. So to draw this, two ways that I could condense it. Here's my CH3, CH3, and then there's this carbon attached up top. So I did that CH3, and notice I kept the bond on that to show that this methyl group, that CH3, was up above. And then we've got a CH2 carbon with the two hydrogens and another CH3. Now, there are two groups that are identical attached to the same carbon. We could condense this even more. Notice that carbon has a CH3 and a CH3 attached to it. So I could take those two methyl groups, the CH3, put them in parentheses with a two, and that tells the reader that carbon right there has a CH3 and a CH3 attached to it. There's the hydrogen, this other hydrogen, and then CH2, CH3. So maybe a little bit harder to see. Um, you're looking at similar groups attached, and like, oh, there's two of those CH3 attached to one carbon. So I could put that in a parenthesis. Let's do some more. Number three. So this has five carbons, and notice that middle carbon has a methyl group, that CH3 attached to it. So that carbon right there is attached to three carbons, surrounded by three carbons. So let's do the two different ways that we could draw this. I could do this CH3, CH2, there's my carbon, and then I drew a line to the methyl group. Now I wanted to show you, I was purposeful in this. This methyl group is drawn below, and this one I did above, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, I wanted you to know, it doesn't matter, you can put that CH3 in the methyl group above or below, does not matter. Um, now there is one hydrogen attached to that, and then I've got my CH2, and it ends with my CH3. So if we were to do this as a parenthesis, trying to clean it out, take away that bond, here's how we could do it. There's my CH3, CH2, there's my carbon with the hydrogen, and then notice we just put in parentheses that CH3, that methyl group. There's your CH2, CH3, and the subscript is left blank, it's understood to be a one. Understood that there's one methyl group on that. Okay, 
do another one. This time, let's look at some double bonds. Okay, I've got my methyl and methyl. There's two CH3s each attached to those carbons in the double bond. So I'm going to put my CH3 that's right here, and then it's attached to this carbon, has a hydrogen. You do have to draw the multiple bonds. There's no way around that. You have to draw double and single bonds, okay? Um, you don't have to do that for hetero atoms like oxygen or sulfur and nitrogen. Those are understood to be there because of their um, bonding. But for carbons, you do have to show those double bonds. Okay, so we've got the carbon that, uh, with that hydrogen, double bond, carbon, hydrogen, and then we'll end with that last carbon, CH3 right there. Let's look at this one. Now we're going to have the hetero atom in it, the oxygen. Remember, we leave off the lone pairs on hetero atoms. So I'm going to look at this carbon. A little tricky, look at it for just a second. There's a CH3 and a CH3 bonded to it. So I could do parentheses, uh, CH3 with a two, that condenses it even more, even less that I then, um, even less that I have to write. So CH3, two of those, and then there's the carbon with the one hydrogen, carbon with two hydrogen, CH2, and then for my oxygen, you just write OH. The oxygen's on the very end, leave off the lone pairs. Um, so OH on that, nice. Let's do some more hetero atoms. Uh, here, notice I've got those two chlorines. So we'll start with the Cl2, condense that, I've got two of those. Cl2, and then there's your carbon with a hydrogen, carbon with the two hydrogens, carbon with two hydrogens. Those are alike. So I put those in parentheses with a two, so I don't have to write out CH2, CH2, just do CH2 parentheses two. There's my oxygen, and I'm going to leave off the lone pairs. We've got our carbon, and then I've got a CH3 and a CH3 attached to it. So parentheses CH3 with the, oh, sorry, the, oh, yeah, three. I had three carbons, three methyl groups attached to that. So CH3 parentheses with a three on it. So there are some examples writing condensed. Again, big takeaways. Go left to right, omit the lone pairs, and then use parentheses wherever you can. You're trying to write as little as possible, okay? Good work. Have a good day. Thanks.